Well, hello there everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Christy and it is time to get cooking. Now today I am making a delicious butternut squash casserole. This is perfect for a Thanksgiving side dish. Butternut squash is a little bit sweet, so this is kind of a sweet and savory dish. You've got your creamy butternut squash and then a delicious cracker Parmesan cheese topping. This is good guys. So let me show you what you will need to make this delicious butternut squash casserole. All right, so you're gonna need one medium size butternut squash, a half of a cup of mayonnaise, a fourth of a cup of finely diced onion, one egg, some salt and pepper, and then for your topping, you're gonna need some crackers. And these are just some Ritz crackers, a half of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and then one tablespoon of butter. So the first thing that I'm going to do is peel and cut my butternut squash. Now, if you have never peeled and cut a butternut squash before, it can be a little bit of a challenge, so don't be afraid. I'm gonna show you just how I do it. The first thing that I like to do is just cut the ends off, and then I just take a vegetable peeler to peel the skin off. Now, you do have to apply a little bit of pressure when you do this because that skin is rather tough, but it's okay, you can do it. I'll show you just how I do mine. also going to go back if you can see these green lines I'm going to I want to remove that I don't want to see any of the green lines because they can be bitter all right then I'm just going to cut it down the center And then I'm going to scoop out the seeds part. I'm just using a spoon just to scoop this out. All right, so now I'm just going to cut this into chunks. All right, so I've got all my butternut squash cut into cubes. So now what I'm going to do is put them in a small sauce pot, cover them with water and bring them up to a boil and boil them until they're tender. So my butternut squash is done. It's fork tender. I have drained the water off. Now I'm going to season it with a little salt and black pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add my diced onions. And then I'm taking my potato masher here and I'm just mashing this butternut squash. I'm going to take my mayonnaise and combine it with my egg. I'm going to give this a stir just until it's combined. And then I'm going to add my mayonnaise and egg mixture to my butternut squash. All 
All right, so then I'm gonna take my butternut squash mixture and put it into a small baking dish. All right, so I'm gonna move this off to the side and work on my cracker and Parmesan cheese topping. All right, I'm going to use about 10 crackers and I'm just going to crush them with my fingers. And I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese and I'm just going to mix this together. All right, so I have melted my one tablespoon of butter and I'm going to add that to my crackers and my Parmesan cheese. Just mix all this together. And then I'm going to sprinkle this cracker Parmesan cheese mixture over top of this butternut squash. Oh yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until the topping is nice and golden brown. Oh boy, this butternut squash casserole looks and smells delicious. Let me show you guys. This is so good. If you guys love butternut squash, you're gonna love this casserole. And that Parmesan cracker topping, oh, it is delish. Mm. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless, and as always, I will see you soon with more recipes.